<laughs> and you're good. Okay. Uh, because Jake said so, we have started this meeting. <laughs> let, the, let him in his show he's the most powerful person in the room. And uh, we would like to start uh, by welcoming our guest, Shelly, uh, from Dominion Energy, who is going to share with us something important. I forget why, Shelly. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, first of all, let me introduce myself real quickly. I'm Shelly Fountain. I'm actually a resident of Orem. Excellent. I live, uh, over by Harmons. So... <laughs> Uh, it's nice to be able to meet with you guys. It's very interesting. I was unaware that the city had put together a sustainability team, so I think that's great. Um, I think it's very interesting that you have a, 20, a net zero 2030 goal. Um, I think that's very aggressive. I wish you the best Thank in doing you. that. As a company, Dominion Energy has set a goal to be net zero ourselves by the year 2050. When you consider that we are an all-encompassing energy company from nuclear to power generation, power transmission, natural gas, uh, not necessarily exploration and production, though we do have one company that specializes in that that's actually based here in Utah. Mm. We also have solar power. We have, we're working, we're one of the first companies that has received um, approval to work on offshore windmilling awesome. mm -hmm. off the Virginia coast. Okay. So um, that's the main reason why I've reached out to you today as a committee. I had a meeting recently with Mayor Brunst and mentioned that we are trying to do what we are calling letters of commitment with our communities where we um, draft kind of a joint statement that says we are aware that green energy and the and the lowering of greenhouse gases is a big deal. We want to work in partnership with our communities in the areas that we serve to bring this to pass. Oh, lovely. Um, so I emailed, uh, I'm, I brought paper copies for all of y'all today, and I didn't know how many was coming, so I just brought eight. Um, but maybe good. if there's more, you can share them, but I'll give them all to you. That's a good you. number. I'll give them all to you. Um, the first one is one that I did at the end of last year with Moab City. Um, if any of you are familiar with Rosemary Russo, she is the director of sustainability for the city of Moab. And she is just delightful and has so many wonderful ideas for things that she wants to do in her community. The other one is the thing that started it all off. So was and this it with, with Nora Shepard? Pardon? Was this with Nora Shepard in Moab? Rosemary Russo is actually Rosemary. Dr. Rosemary okay. Russo is actually the sustainability director. Oh. Uh, Jason, do you have one or more I extra? Because Quinn just walked in and I'd love to give him the extra. I was gonna say I have more, so um, thank you. Um, the second one is uh, an agreement that we did with Salt Lake City, and as you know, Salt Lake City is one of the leaders, um, much to our in, in lowering, re reducing carbon emission, carbon footprint, and lowering greenhouse gases. Unfortunately, one of the ways that they want to do that is by making everything all electric. electric. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad they're not my community. <laughs> I have to try and help them figure out how they're going to do that. And um, one of the difficulties, as you are probably well aware, is with power generation here in Utah. Much of that, about 60% of it, still comes from coal. We have the natural gas plant here at Lakeside and the one down in Mona. A lot of that power, I think, actually ends up in California, but they are dedicated natural gas plants. Um, we have Gadsby up off of South Temple in Salt Lake, and then we also have, I can't remember what his name is, I remember it's Matt Number out in Wyoming. <laughs> and we have, of course, Hunter plant, Huntington plant. Um, they're, they're coal and they're on a limited time frame. Do you, do you know for Utah County uh, what the percentage of coal is? I do in not. Terms of power? Okay. I do not, mostly because I'm not sure which plant our power actually comes from. Provo Power has their own, uh, their own power, as does Payson. Um, Provo has their own power plant, and it is a natural gas plant. Payson purchases much of their power from UPMA who must have some natural gas facilities. Uh, I know they have natural gas um, transportation contracts on our system. So I'm not quite sure how they're generating their power. Um, I, they feed, UPMA feeds many of the 
municipal power plants in the state. So Hurricane City Power, St. George Power, Washington County Power, Bountiful Power, Heber Power. Mm. <laughs> I can go on and on. Mm. Um, uh, I know that uh, Pacific Corp and Rocky Mountain Power particularly is doing something similar with cities um, in that they're trying to create these collaborative partnerships. Um, from talking a little bit with the mayor, the way they're doing it is a little different than the approach that Dominion Energy is taking as they're saying having an opt-out rather than here are some options that you can select from that might help with these kinds of goals. Um, we're not going to force them down your throats. We're going we're to make you, we're not going <coughs> to take them unless you tell us no. Um, which Mayor Brits was not really thrilled with the, the other approach. So um, he is aware that I'm talking with you guys today. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm kind of scattered. So, uh, oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to try and find, I emailed a Word doc of these two letters to the mayor. Um, they won't let me put a thumb drive in my computer. <laughs> Dominion's um, security is pretty impressive. So if you'll give me just a minute, I'll try and stumble through a little bit of a conversation while I look up Mayor Brent's email address. Oh, you're, you're fine. You just do that and I will, while you do that, maybe I will just, we can have a chance to say what's happening here for those who came late. Thanks for coming, Jeff. Appreciate it. And uh, this is uh, Shelly from um, Dominion Energy and uh, Maybe you, you've caught the gist by now, but she's doing um, uh, kind of uh, cooperative letters with different municipalities on trying to achieve sustainability goals. So that's that's what's uh, happening here. Um, and um, and she's also asked us, or um, Jason through, um, oh my gosh, uh, Jenna has asked us to try to keep this meeting short as we will not be having these types of public meetings in the city of Orem for the next couple of weeks. Is that right? No, it hasn't been approved yet by the council, but that's it's happening as we speak. <laughs> okay. So, so does that mean? So, I mean, one of the next things is our city council presentation on the thirty-first. Is that meeting probably not happening, or uh, probably not? Okay. Um, we'll keep you posted. We'll yeah, keep us posted. That, that could, change. Right. could change, right? I would still prepare. Right. Still prepare, right? Just yeah. postponed at right. some point. Just postponed. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So probably in the in the essence of time, if you could give me your email address, I'll just jot it so down. You already have send, it. Oh, oh, we. That's how we set up the meeting. You yeah. Set up the meeting. Yeah. Okay. So when I get back to the office tomorrow because believe it or not I've actually been instructed to work from home through the mm. rest of the month and um, all of my meetings I can after today a, have been moved to call cards. Cards. If you have one that would be great. One. If not, I, you're right. I have yeah. your email address. That would be fine. Um, so I will send that to her and she can forward the work document to you because what I've given you here is just an example of what other cities have come up with of what they want to do in this agreement with us. This is your your thing. Look at that. Thank you very but, much. But can you help? So what is it that you can do for us? <laughs> well, we're still working some of that out, much okay. to my chagrin. Um, some of those kinds of things are letting you know, first and foremost, right out about as soon as I find out, about things like this grant program. Okay. So the very first email I sent out went to Rosemary, Rosemary, excuse me, in Moab City, because she signed one of these with us. The second one went out to the Orm, to Orm City because we had this meeting council scheduled. Okay, okay. Um, there are other things, for instance, an, um, another item that I brought today. So, so this really is just sort of a, a cooperative. Hey, as it we as we do things and as we learn things, we plan to share them with you and yes. be on so, the front so, lines of that. Right. And so as, as we have things come up, we're going to share them with you. As you have things that arise where you want to try and accomplish something, let us know. Bring us on board. Let's collaborate and find out how, as a company, we can help you make those kinds of things happen. Whether it's a press release, whether it's running some kind of a fair and providing our employees for answering questions, any of those kinds of things. Okay. How, so how are you structuring your 
updates to sustainability? Do you have, like, I've just been going through the Rocky Mountain Power HB 411 stuff, so are you structuring things differently? Are you coming out with reports that we could view to see what your guys' plans are, how it's going to impact we're users? Still, we're still driving a lot of that. Okay. So they have set a goal for my department to communicate with a set number of cities this year. Okay. I don't know. I'm don't think that we'll be limit, limiting ourselves to that number of cities. I think we're going to try and reach out to as many as possible. But we just started this in October of last year. Okay. Um, signed a small handful of agreements with communities that had already expressed an interest with us in forming these kind of collaboratives. And now management is tasked with deciding exactly how we're going to go about establishing these relationships and assisting each other in doing Meeting, meeting these goals and doing these expectations. Can, okay. can I ask a, a related question to this? Yes. So, in, in my head, I guess I don't yet have a, a clear definition of a cooperative agreement. Um, what I think I'm hearing is that we agree to talk. Yes. And to share things. Mm -hmm. um, but what are your obligations to the city in a cooperative letter, and what are our obligations to you in a cooperative? That's really loosey goosey. It's kind of, <laughs> kind of squishy, um, which is one of the reasons why I brought these letters and why I want to get a word document to you because this is something that we want you to cater specifically to the goals that the city has. Um, in these letters, there there are kind of some statements that Dominion Energy will work with you in trying to help bring these things to pass and creating this collaborative relationship. But other than that, there aren't really any commitments. Unfortunately, so what's the pro as far as what we'll do? Signing it. So right now, the pro as I see it is that we want to go through some and do some press releases. Hopefully, the first part of this so year. So it's PR for you guys. For PR for okay. all of us, for all mm -hmm. of us. So we're partners with this. It's not that hey, we have these cities and we're you know we're doing all this kind of stuff, but we do realize that the energy industry is changing and changing rapidly. Um, my personal belief, I've kind of bought into T. Boone Pickens, I think that natural gas is going to be a, a bridging energy commodity. Um, I, I seriously doubt that in the very near future we're going to get to a point where we can actually rely on solar and wind for any kind of base energy production, energy source. Um, I think we're still going to have to carry our baseload on something that is firm and reliable. We have um, a number of industrial customers that have what we call telemetry that are attached to their industrial meters. And we call that telemetry every day and find out what they used the last 24 hour period. Um, we started with putting, because we call on a cell phone through a modem, we need power so that that cell phone is always, battery is always charged. We started the first couple of years of doing that by installing solar panels. And as what we found is when there's an inversion and we haven't really seen the sun for a week or two in the valley, well, solar panels are not working. We're having to go and change the batteries and charge them up again. So we've actually gone to AC power to keep those cell phone batteries charged rather than, unless it's in a remote location and we can't really get power out to it, so solar panels are not going to be the end all to beat all. While they are wonderful, and obviously pricing is coming down on them, which makes it more reasonable, there are still things that make it so that, at least in our environment, it, it's kind of a catch-22. We've got to clear up the air so that the solar panels will work. We want to use the solar panels so we can clean up the air. <laughs> So until we can get ourselves so that we're in that kind of a position, I think that natural gas is going to fill that gap quite a bit. And as you're all aware, we have an abundance of the supply here in the nation right now. Thank you so much. I wonder if in the interest of just trying to move on, is that read, to keep on time Read the information. And you yeah. have my card. Okay. Um, I yeah. think the letters will give you a good idea of what we're trying what to it accomplish is trying to, with, yeah. with the cooperative statements. Um, I'm always available, even when I'm working at home for the next two weeks, <laughs> yeah. I'm available to answer any phone calls or emails that you might have to send. Yeah, let us know when you have more progress on your actual plans for updating yes, things. Certainly will. 
I mean, for the HB 411 stuff, that was the most helpful part was actually understanding the context of their full plan yeah. before the city got on board. Yeah. So, okay. I think we want the cities driving it a little more. Okay. okay. Well, and okay. I imagine that HB 411 had a lot of city input initially before initially it before anyway, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. This, yeah. that's part yeah. of that process. And as you yeah. guys are probably aware, we do have House Bill 422 that was passed last year and then an amendment to that House Bill that went through and it was approved this year that's taking natural gas to smaller rural communities in Utah. Oh, did not know that. Thank you. So uh, we've actually signed Eureka. They're our first community and then we'll be receiving natural gas in the next few years. Okay. Thank you so much, Shirley. Right. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Have a great evening, everyone. Thanks you. Uh -huh. Tell me if you have any questions. We will. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Uh huh. Just in the interest of time, I'm going to kind of move us along briskly. I apologize. Um, approval of April meeting moving from the 2nd to the 9th. So Everyone's okay with this? Go ahead. I'm Excuse good with me. that. We had, um, we added a neighborhood meeting as we're going through the neighborhood, um, this final uh, planning process for the last of the nine neighborhood plans that we're, we've been working on for the past five years. Um, Grant wanted to do another large meeting with the whole neighborhood to review the draft before we presented it to city council and the second just happened to be the day. So if you guys were fine moving it, assuming that we're still going to have so a meeting. So we will be postponing that meeting. Okay. So we could still have this meeting. So. No. No, we All can. meetings are. We'll be postponing what meeting? Until future notice. We will <coughs> oh, so it's not just through the end of March. Public it's. Meeting. it's most meetings will be postponed. Oh, okay. okay. So, so just so until so further so notice, not for two weeks yeah. or whatever. Well, okay. two weeks, yes. Oh. We'll and then. We'll evaluate it in two weeks and then we'll see. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Does the it make second, sense we have to advertise in that period, and we don't want to advertise a meeting if we don't know what's the next two weeks will hold. So we're just not going to hold that meeting. We'll postpone it until we can know for sure how the direction of the city's going with meetings, big gatherings, and then we'll proceed that way. So we so should sort of hold a spot on April 9th, maybe. I would hold it, but we may or may not have it. Okay. Okay. It's probably better than the seven or second. So yeah. Let's just, we'll postpone that one. We'll keep it on the ninth, and if something happens, we'll keep so we'll postpone pencil it in for the ninth. But we understand that nothing is real <laughs> until <laughs> <laughs> until something happens to this universe. Okay, <laughs> that we're living in. Okay, didn't know how to say that word, but real felt right to me. <laughs> As irreal seems to be the mo the word of the moment to me. Okay. Great. So because there will presumably be a city council meeting at some point in the future, um, you should, uh, Sarah, do you want to tell us about, um, you want to help us understand your presentation that I you have so far? I can run through it real quick. Have you emailed um, that out or do we I just... I have not. Okay. Do you want to put it up do on screen? I don't know. That's kind is of that... hard. So we can just kind of... I'll just move over there move so over I'm kind of at an end. It's yeah. on. It's ready for it. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've been asked be I've asked that before, and apparently it was, took some effort. You guys have figured this out more. Thank you. It's usually off is all. It just takes some time. Yeah. I see. And then let me get my fancy presenter for my desk. Have you sanitized it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> Your shoes are cute. Oh, thanks. Right? I know. <laughs> That's funny when you get a good little story behind it. So you can plug this into it. Okay. You can use these arrows here to go between the slides. Okay. Jump over the I need a selection right here. I can see if it'll pick up on the computer. Oh, yes. So this is the wow. current draft. Um, I know it was just going to try to keep it to a nice round number of 20 slides. So we'll see if, um, I know, that scares you. Five minutes? Yes, I know. Yeah. Not all of them <laughs> need very much. Have, well, I talked to Jackie. She's like five minutes, max ten. Right. But several of the slides. Uh, are this can be sent as a pre-read. Yes. Yes. So people can see the read the twenty pages, and we can highlight things. Yeah. 
So, um, just who we are. Um, relevant affiliations of committee members. Um, the two at the top are with the Utah Valley Clean Air Task Force, which is held at the Health Department and hosted by the Chamber of Commerce. Um, and I tried to take Quinn's suggestion last time of boiling it down to three kind of areas of focus. No, that's fine. I didn't mean to do that. Interrupt your whole presentation. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I tried to, instead of just going through the year and then we did this and then we did this, um, I tried to kind of categorize into three categories okay. <laughs> of how our committee kind of engages. Um, so how we engage with the city government, um, the re residents, and then extend it into community partnerships as ambassadors for cool. Warm. So. I love the blue green too. Yeah, blue and green. Thank you. Yeah. I like that. And then, yeah. and then, okay. Then That's the structure, and so the next slide. So going through, uh, highlighting the Orem City government. Um, well, I guess, yeah, in my notes, just kind of talking about um, yeah. opportunities to work with different departments and to kind of pre-test the Recycle Coach app and to help test the smart water meter. Um, with public works and the opportunities for that and then kind of review this presentation that we did last fall regarding the community renewable energy um, especially since there are a couple of new council members so serve as a review of that and then kind of the follow-up to the survey that we did with the some residents and kind of some points that we had found in our recommendation to the council at the time so a review of that, and then on to how we engage with Orem residents, um, and so some of the things that we did with um, Orem residents. So this was our Youth Earth Day contest for art, uh, yeah, art contest, um, and then this was the Orem Centennial celebration. There's Quinn right there. Chatting up the folks. He was great. Um, he was so good. Um, we also had on the left photo, we had a, an employee from Lowe's come down and explain kind of um, electric mowers and electric trimmers as part of the DEQ's uh, swap out that they had. They, they have that every year now. There, there's money from the, le the legislature to um, encourage people to swap out their gas mowers and trimmers for electric to help clear the air. Um, and then these were, we, we put out, you know, for the kids and anybody who wanted to stop, stop by, we wanted, you know, what do you like to do in the outdoors? And so I put down, including the, the spelling errors, um, <laughs> it was, you know, cool. see, get some feedback on what Orm residents like to do outside. Um, and again, we had um, a suggestion box and a few people dropped off their suggestions. A uh, sample of our social media efforts um, and, you know, uh, how we're trying to create content, content for the city to distribute and have conversations um, through that. And I included this one, Darren, I was going to say, you, you could chat oh, about that one. That, that one was the most popular yeah. post of the year. Wow. Um, and... Uh, so I think that's that's a great one to include in there. It's beautiful. And then here are stats for social media. Um, trending awesome. up, trending up well. That's a nice story. That's yeah, that's great. Wow, that's Congratulations, that's Sarah. You've awesome. been the main force behind this. Thank you so and, much. And I'm getting uh, some feedback from other people on it. They, they, are you? Yeah, oh, good. Just random people that have seen it. And, uh, it's people are talking about it. Good. People like good. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. good. So um, that's helpful. Again, the next step that we don't have that would be helpful going forward is to collect volunteer, like the hours that we have donated to the city in, in this role um, so that we could kind of evaluate that somewhat. And then moving on to the third point of it, extending into the community and partnerships. 
um, highlighting this one that we did at Geneva Elementary about the idling research that the students helped collect the data. And then last January, there was a feature in the news. Students got to be on the news, and that was fun for them. And then I also presented about this um, research in the project at the UVU um, Environmental Ethics Symposium. Um, and uh, so, yeah. Uh, and then here's another thing that um, we started last year, the Utah County Sustainability Coalition, which this committee, Orem's committee, was the founding entity. And now there are a lot of Utah County, um, there's a lot of Utah County representation. Um, and we meet monthly down at the county health department. Um, and we're continuing to hopefully add more communities in the county to, again, talk about um, the natural environment that we would like to preserve and celebrate and, and all the challenges that we're going to face with growth, um, water conservation, energy conservation, um, waste removal, waste reduction, whatever, transportation, congestion, all of those things as we're all going to be experiencing that together that we can regularly discuss and um, anticipate um, and help mitigate the challenges and celebrate the, the opportunities. Um, and then our retreat, um, the areas of focus that we had talked about um, as we try to, I know that food with this, I just borrowed this from last year's presentation. We didn't really decide on food for this year, but I think we only talked about four areas, and I wanted to keep it balanced, so I just left food up there. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, and then that's the end. Great. Looks very nice. Yeah. So good job. Um, I like the structure. Yes, mm -hmm. the structure is nice. I like that structure. That works, that works well. And so one thought, and it may, may or may not be possible, but I think it would be nice to have a, a picture of all of the people on your committee yeah, as right. part of that, just so people can see who you are. And mm -hmm. Yeah, so. that's a good idea. We'll see if we can find a time when, before the meeting, right. when we can meet together yeah. and grab it's, a picture. As a substitute, we can all just come. And just <laughs> 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 that would be great, too. <laughs> Bonus, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, let me know if there's... Anything else that um, I've missed that you think we should highlight? From a city council perspective, Jeff, uh, thinking about what people would want to hear, are there things that you think your counselors would want to hear that are not in there yet? Um, no. I mean, I think everything that's there is very worthwhile and I mean, it shows what you're doing, how the city's involved, how the community's involved, and kind of the leadership role that you guys are taking in making these things happen. So, and they may have some questions. Thank you. Um, but that's great. Okay. In, in your partnership, actually, maybe this is an okay time to bring this up because we submitted a letter of support for um, the uh, Mount Timp Natural Playground. Grant. Oh, did we? Okay. And that did not go through, but we've now been asked for another right, one. Right. Okay. It might be something that. just to mention that we support these yes. kind of grant proposals. I will um, add that in the notes. And um, uh, this is an email I received a couple of days ago, so it didn't get on the agenda. But since I'm now noting it, uh, I just want to make sure would we be okay to support that again as a committee? Um, what it is, it's a natural playground at Mount Timaganos Park. Um, uh, they are going to remove a wildlife exploration area because the Grant Committee didn't like that. <laughs> and they're adding more climbing elements to the playground area, large play boulders. There'll be a tunnel embankment slide, log balance beam. So lots of learning opportunities. Jenna. Um, so if you guys go on to Orem's Orem Forum, um, there are examples and a short survey that you guys can uh, take, and it does have the site plan on it. So you guys can uh, review that and give your feedback, which would be highly Have you looked at it? I put it on there, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about it? I like it, um, but I also, um, our, my predecessor, Christian, 
he um, did a really great capstone project in grad school about the importance of natural play. Um, so I've already been a supporter of that type of um, okay. playground. So. I presume as a committee we support this, and you're okay if I just update this letter and send it in then? Yeah. Okay. So, but before we move on from the presentation, can I just add one thing? Yes, sir. Uh, it might be nice uh, toward the end of that to add one more slide okay. that highlights 2020 priorities. Okay. So that was one conversation we had in our retreat where we, we said, here are some things that we want to prioritize in 2020. Um, I think it's okay to keep those relatively general. Um, but I suspect that that would be one area where the committee might, yeah. uh, or the council might want to engage okay. with us on that. Um, and we don't know exactly uh, what our capacity and success rate will be with those, so right. I don't know that we want to make promises in there. Right, right. But, but I think helping them see what vision we have for the coming year yeah. uh, in one slide might be a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you have a comment? Mm -hmm. So. Keeping in the time limit and keeping all the goodies of the information that you had because it is a beautiful slideshow. I'm worried about the HB 411 slide where you explain everything mm -hmm. and the whole system. Because yeah. when you did that in point. the city council, it just took a lot of time. Oh, I wasn't and planning so, on like explaining it again. So when this next phases come and this council has to ap approve them, mm -hmm. Um, we will be taking it back to council and probably refreshing, especially for the new members, okay. what is HB 411 and okay. stuff like that. So I don't know if you want to spend your time reviewing that when I like your comment of doing things that you guys are looking forward to for this year. I think it's okay to be in the pre-read. Right. Right. Well, and this, the copy right. of the right. presentation will be sent out so to I all the councils. So I will send it to them, um, upload it to Granicus where they can all view it previously okay. um, so um, you could leave it in and just quickly touch right. on it and um, hopefully they will have read it before the meeting okay. so that they have context. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that sounds smart to me. I did go through your visions and priorities for 2020 in our work session earlier this week. Oh, thank you. Thank um, you. So very quickly, but I think that would I think it would be good to have mm -hmm. that, that here's, you know, here are our goals and here are our visions and this is what we're, you know, currently working on, so. Excellent. Cool. Thanks yeah. for, okay. for being able to be that liaison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm yes. very happy to do that. So thank you for giving me good things to be able to share. Okay. I will the next, update. great. The next item on the agenda is update on Earth Day. Are you going to send that to everyone for... Final reviews? Yeah, yeah, okay. I can do that. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a lot of work, Sarah. Yes, yes thank yeah. you. Sorry to have moved on too quickly. No, thank you, fine. Sarah. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to do it be, all. Be respectful, right? <laughs> of everything. Um, including the Earth. Um, though, <laughs> you know, it is. Um, Difficult to know what Earth Day will bring, I guess. Um, but do you want to update? Is there any update on the art contest then, Sarah? Um, I mean, so I was, um, one of the UCAS teachers reached out and said, as, as I told you, um, that they have students that need to do service, and one student wanted to do service in affiliation with our committee. So I have enlisted her to be a service, kind of like the intern for the youth art contest, which I thought would be a great match. Um, and so she, she and I are working together. Um, I've created a lot of the, um, the graphics for, um, and then so starting next week is when she's going to be emailing out all the, the letter and the graphics associated with that to all the like the art teachers that serve Orem students um, in seventh through twelfth grade, and um, and then she'll also reach out and get some youth judges, and um, she'll help facilitate the judging when it comes time. And I will be reaching out to businesses to see if they um, would like to donate some prizes. 
for the winning student. The winning entry will be posted uh, on the digital billboards at University Place. So, That's awesome. um, yeah, no, I, it was great to, to have her come on board and to have help um, get that done. So, fingers crossed. Um, that is, is nice to have that activity <coughs> as something that can go forward. Yeah, digitally. We, digitally. Which right. is yeah. the world we're living That's in right now. <laughs> very nice. Mm -hmm. So thank so, you, yeah. And it's such good visibility up there. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's fun for the kids. And, and hopefully as this grows, this is the fourth year that we get more and more um, submissions. So that's be good. I think that that would actually be a fun thing to add to the slideshow for this coming year. Because there were, in the email chain, there were several other students who also wanted to participate in our group for a uh -huh. service project. And yeah. Having, you know, keeping an open mind for other opportunities and other yeah. events. I mean, we could, you know, host walks or something, you know, to get people out in the sun. And, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Things for you guys to consider. Yeah. The the next thing says so social media progress relevant to Earth Day. I'm not sure quite what that might mean. Is that relevant yeah. to Earth Day? You guys wanted to talk about social media progress in oh. terms of getting the message out there for the different events, such as the art contest, right. different opportunities in the city to go out and experience Earth Day. Right. Right. Um, so thank you, Jenna, for that reminder of what <laughs> we meant by that agenda item. I mean, uh, I did create a uh, Facebook page that's a natural orum, uh, so um, hopefully that will just sort of grow over time, right? So uh, if you haven't joined us yet, join us. I was pretty active on posting on it, and then I had that tragedy in my life that many of you know about. And um, and so I've kind of left it behind. I guess for those of you who don't know, my my best friend passed away while we were mountain biking together in southern Utah. We go Saturday. It was pretty traumatic. I'm sorry. Uh, thank sorry. you. Yeah. So I'm trying to get back up to speed again myself. Um, but uh, I I plan to you know I hope that serves as a kind of gathering place for the community who's interested in these kinds of issues. Kind of supplements our Facebook or our social media posts in a more interactive way. So uh, if you are on Facebook at all and would like to join us or invite friends to join us, uh, it's called Natural Orum. It's a group. Um, so far we're just sort of sharing information and posts and I hope that, you know, I, 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 I think I'm I hope to serve as the moderator and I think we can keep it friendly. <laughs> um, uh, so, and Sarah, you're doing great work on your social media posts each week. They're really, you know, they're really great. Um, thank you for doing that. Um, and then as part of that, I, I, you know, it happened to cross my email that Provo City has undertaken a Plant 2000 Trees initiative, and I thought, well, everybody is doing tree planting these days. Maybe Orem can get on the bandwagon. So, I don't know... I don't know anything about that, but would it be possible to do a tree planting initiative here in Orem? <laughs> so Jason had a couple things about to say. I know they do that on an annual basis, and the Parks Department do, does plant a lot of trees. I know with this coming out, when this gets redone in the spring and summer, that might be a good time to come out, because they are going to plant quite a few trees. Is that summer. something that they would allow citizen volunteers to help out with, or does it have to be city staff? I think they would. It might be nice, yeah. Third so we might be the best. Uh, okay, yeah. Maybe we might reach out and say, hey, you guys are interested in doing that. Can you help them? Because there, there's probably at least 20, 30 trees in every place here, and then also the Rex and I will have some in the landscape. There as well. It might be a good opportunity to, to see that we're doing it. Obviously, we have to do it anyway, but it might be good to focus on the fact Make that it would events. be nice. Yeah. Yeah, people would love that. Uh, yeah, people yeah. love uh, Yeah. But so, the reach out. themselves do plant a lot of trees. I mean, sure. Do, do you okay. know where they plant them? Throughout the parks, you'll see you know, this park, they plant several per year, and they just, throughout the different park system, they plant hundreds of different trees. Uh -huh. they're, they're not replacing uh, not dying necessarily trees. replacing. There are some that die, and, and they are so just replacing. This is kind of an arboretum, so they do yeah. add some different varieties on an annual basis. So it might be good to reach out to, to read to see if they have not kind of all plan, because they do have a parks. Well, or we could talk to, is it Jim's story? Is the arborist? Mm -hmm. Or Josh. 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 Jos
got uh, thousands of trees that are within the city's right away to maintain. So there's a lot of inventory that the city could, you know, come and, and I guess explain what the trees, uh, what the city has, how they maintain them, and, and, and maybe they do have a plan that we can share. We, we do have a committee member who's in charge of land use and things like yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 and so that would be... This Some, is a natural, so a natural yeah, fit for, for your assignment is to meet with the, the is it Reed? Reed Price. Is Reed, Reed, Reed Price. Start. Reed Price. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and to talk about our conversation here and mm -hmm. ask him what his plans are, ask him uh, what potential citizen involvement looks like, and ask him uh, if there are opportunities to expand his plans. Yeah. Right. Do um, you want me to give you his contact information? That would be great. Yeah, thank you. Do, what, what was Provo's time table on those 2,000 trees? Uh, I think two years. Yeah. So maybe you know maybe Provo already plants 1,900 trees and they just went up by 100 or right. something. But mm -hmm. it still sounds cool, right? It could be right. good PR for the city, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it would be a win for us if we could even increase it five percent or something, right? Yeah. So I would so be I think interested in that. Find out yeah. Have Let's find out. Maybe yeah. they maybe they're right. already right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Paul, you can yeah, thank you so I much for taking I, that. Up. I think it would be awesome. Yeah, if mm -hmm. if, if we could get into uh, a tree race with Pro, <laughs> <laughs> and, that, tree and that we every year we try to plant more trees than Provo does, <laughs> you know we'd win. So. <laughs> uh, Let's prove do, it. Do, do, yeah. I don't know. Do bushes count too? I mean, I don't know. I right. would be, I mean, you, you think they would, be. right? I mean, <laughs> trees are. Let's not discriminate against. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, I'm, I'm actually serious about this. That I think it could yeah, be really cool, be cool as cool. part of our social media thing to say. Pro was planted this many trees this year. Orm has surpassed that number by this many, or whatever, right? Uh -huh. And uh, see, if we, we, <laughs> see if we can see if we can vote Provo so that it becomes a bit of a, a competition. Arms race. That's yeah. a nice idea. I think that would get people involved. Yeah. Uh, they did 2000. We did 2020. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I like it. Well, I wonder if there's a way that we could. I mean, people will be planting trees in their yards. I'm going to plant a couple more trees this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wonder if we could kind of yeah. add citizen, you know, people, what they're doing in their own yards. Yeah. Like, yeah. what, like what we could together. find out what's happening. How many trees people. have you planted this year? Yeah. And then yeah. you could add uh -huh. to the total. So. Yeah. Um, that would be cool. That would be cool. I like that. Yeah, I, I actually think this is an easy one to get people excited about. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. You can count it. It's meaningful. It's, easy, too. it's meaningful. Mm -hmm. It has beautification you know aspects, really climate cool? aspects. Mm -hmm. Is if we could get like some students to volunteer to go to some people who aren't able to go out and dig a hole and plant a tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's to nice. have that volunteer mm -hmm. army. That's a, that's a nice and idea. Offer that. Hey, if you've got, if you offer want to plant service. some trees, mm -hmm. but you're not able to do it, or you don't know what trees to plant, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we have. People that can help you do that. Well, and it sounds At like no charge. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like this UCAS um, class. Maybe this is something that they do every year. We just learned about this recently, and so if we know that they're do planning on doing this every year, sometime in the spring, then we can plan ahead of time and, and maybe work to get some of those volunteers out in the spring. I wonder. So my good friend is Brandon Hatch, who runs Big Rock Construction, which is one of the major high-end construction. Of landscaping companies around. I wonder if he would even donate some for people who are kind of some. Um, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Maybe donate some trees. Uh, people who would really want them on fixed incomes, kind of a thing. We do have two major nurseries in Florida. Are there actually there's three? And then on the they might side, do that too. Maybe they'll. They can always contact him and say, "Hey, would mm -hmm. you want to donate one of the trees?" Maybe you could talk him into uh, donating. Trees to our sustainability leaders that we profile. Yes. Right. <laughs> and, and you get profiled. Nice. And, and you go. get a tree <gasps> that you can plant. Right. So cool. I'm, I'll talk to Brandon about this idea. Do you want to? So, in addition to read, do you want to try calling a nursery or two sure. and seeing if they would? Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good I will, idea. I, will hit, I mean, Brandon probably orders through the local nursery, so. Mm -hmm. uh, if they each donated, then that would be mm -hmm. more. Right. Okay. Cool. Well, that was awesome.
We are near the end. Sarah, I know that you said something about this business coalition update thing. Do we need to address right. this at all? I'm well, I reached out I, yeah, I reached out to like the city manager's office mostly. I don't know who else I did. I've sent out a bunch of emails lately. Um, because the sustainability coalition, the business like New Skins coalition, has extended the deadline um, that entities can enter in their pledge for what they're going to do this year or like if it's a five-year goal or whatever. Okay. And um, so I suggested that the city of Orm probably already has a lot of goals yeah. that kind of work in and could be packaged well for a pledge of this sort. Um, and since they did extend the deadline to March 20th, um, but I haven't heard back from them yet, so I don't okay. know if that's something that... But it would be great because I know that New Skin's going to be doing a whole press release about all of these businesses and entities that have pledged all of these various things and service projects and, and goals, you know, in all different areas. Um, and then there's going to be an event with the Lieutenant Governor um, on Earth Day. Huh. So I think if we can properly package some of our existing goals or maybe extend, a, you know, a few of our goals to um, participate in this. I think that could be really good for Orm. Okay. So um, hopefully I hear back from them okay. and, yeah. and work to okay. participate in that. Yeah. Do, we, do we ever give an award to a business that, like a we, we the could, Natural Resource Stewardship Committee Award goes to? Yeah. This. We've talked about like sustainab highlighting sustainability leaders, which We've done a couple of times, um, but that's something that, yeah. That we, I'm not sure we've ever done a business. But we, no, we not, not, do a and we haven't done like an award yes. necessarily, but right. we have done like an online feature of like right. Orem Elementary and the student at Orem Junior. Yes. Um, I yeah. know I love that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, we, 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 so, we would but like yeah. to be more systematic about this. Wait, who's the sustainability doing? leaders person? That's me. That's also you. Yes. This is a big meeting for well, you. I know. <laughs> I, know. I, I think highlighting a business should be a priority. Be, I yeah. think it would be cool for them to have like a nice plaque or a nice an award, Certificate. something uh -huh. to put in their lobby. Yeah. Let's do Big Rock, rock and then maybe they'll give us some trees. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Big Rock would deserve actually an award. They do. Mm -hmm. They do very sustainable landscaping, mm -hmm. and, and they're, it's a really good company that way. Mm -hmm. So, okay, that's a good idea. They work hard on that. Maybe in your conversation with those guys, you can mm -hmm. also say, "We as a committee would like to talk to you about how you use sustainability in your practices, and then if you're sufficiently impressed." Uh -huh. <laughs> so I know that the city of Provo, their committee has. Um, kind of like a sustainable business program that they've worked on a lot and um, you know it highlights either how much money a business is going to put towards sustainability efforts whether it's energy, redu energy reduction or whatever um, or um, a percentage improvement that they've made over the last year's cool. energy use or water water use mm. or whatever. So they do. I would recommend looking at Provost because they did spend a lot of time working and kind of fine tuning that, that mm -hmm. business sustainable business feature. Okay, we should wrap up. Um, so I can at least say that I kept it shorter than typical, even by five minutes. Um, so um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak out thank you so much, there. Jeff. Thank you're nearly as excited as this one. This is so much fun. Yay! <laughs> We're glad you like us, and yeah. those are awesome ideas. I love, you I, I love, yes. I love the sweet. sense of right engagement. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Have Thank a you. great evening, and we'll see you, we'll see you. somewhere down the line. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Rather than asking for someone to move approval, I will just move approval of February minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. I will also move adjournment. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I like how you have a, a systematic sheet for just taking minutes from that.